everybody we usually learn how to merge two data frames right how to combine two data frames but what if you come across a problem statement where you have to combine more than two data frames right how are you going to do that in that scenario also if you have to combine the data frames on more than one column and if you have to combine the different data frames with more than one column and the column names are different and the last statement is if you have to combine the data frames using where condition as well okay so all of those things we are going to see in this particular video so here what you see is there are three data frames which i have imported if you can if you understand how to combine three data frames which is more than two then combining 300 data frames is not going to be a problem for you okay even more than that and here you see each of the data frames have same dimension means 11 records and three data, uh, three columns this is not of much use it's just i showed you to keep in your mind so that when you are doing the join the number of records should not exceed more than 11. now here in this video we are going to learn primarily whatever we are going to learn we can combine them in two groups Number one, how to merge multiple or more than two data frames. Number two, how to merge with where condition. Let's have a quick look on each of the data frames. This is the employee data frame in which you can see ID, name and date of joining variables. Okay. Then this is the salary data frame where you can see name, employee ID and salary data frame. Sorry, salary variable. And then here comes the contact data frame in which you can see name employee id phone number and address so like you can see here the common columns which we have is id and name but the problem is in this data frame the id is named differently and in these two data frames ids are named differently which is not a big challenge we can we will just see how to solve that okay after that in the resulting data what we want is we want to have id name date of joining salary phone number and address let's start with how can we do that so we will first start with merging the two data frames so let's say pd dot merge okay and in the uh, the first data frame which i have is employee then the second data frame i have is salary right then comes the thing into picture how do we want to join it so because we have the different column names so i'm going to use this parameter left on what are the columns that i want to use from the left table then i'm just going to say right on what are the columns that i want to use from the right data frame okay and then how do i want how do i want to do the joining right so the joining i want to use is inner join okay now this will combine employee and salary data frame on top of this i also want to join the contacts data frame uh, sorry contacts data frame so over here again we can say dot merge okay or you can do it one by one as well let's try to do it one by one first so in the left table so from left table what are the common columns that we want to use in the left table that is employee table we have the common column id and name and the right table we have name and employee id so the only difference is id variable is named differently right so let's say id and over here i'm just going to say name and in the right table what we have is we have employee id and name variable all right now you see over here here is what we got the data okay so now you see the both of the tables are combined here we have id employee id salary etc 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 right so date of joining and salary variable is there now the next thing comes is combining the concat data frame into it right so let's just try to do this thing at the end what you can do is you can again say merge because see over here two data frames are already merged on top of that i want to merge another data frame as well okay so in the in the next one what i need to use is this contact data data frame this one and then i just need to say write on because if you want you can say both of the two things so in left table now we have id also and employee id also so if you want you can simply say on right and into that you can put both of these two variables these two variables because in the contact table we have these two variables available right so the same thing we you can use over here 
and how we can say inner right now let's just see if that works yeah it worked right so you see the phone number and address are also available over here now the another problem statement over here is let me just remove the header from here okay now here i want to have the address and phone number only for two employees that is this one donald and crystal only for these two i want to have this thing so how can i do that right so for that let's just see if this works from here no this will not work from here so let's just see if this works like this yeah it is going to work like this so over here what we can do is i'll put comma over here and here contact and here you just need to say query and start a bracket put double quotation and into that you can write the query so the query will be where name in you can put the both of these two names into a bracket right so let's just take these two column sorry t two values from here and put right over here i'll just say comma and then crystal this is what i just put it over here okay and let's run this okay here it is not a going to accept the enter okay so what i'll do is i'll just remove the enter you see over here now let's just try to run this now we are done with executing this particular thing and if you see over here you see we have the result for only these two customers they said so these two employees these two are different employees because you see if you uh, see the combination of employee id and employee name those are different now if you want to have all the information from left table means employee table and salary table but address for only these two customers so what you can do sorry not customer means the employee okay so this is how you can do that right so if you see over here we have date of joining and salary for all the employees but phone number and address for only those employees where the employee name is either donald or crystal right so i just hope that it was clear to you it is very simple first you need to do the merging for two tables only right you see over here then merge the next table over here and if you want to put where condition in any of the table for example if you wanted to put filter some certain values from this table only so you could have used dot query over here only okay so dot query is something which we can use to you know which we can use to filter the data frame right with where clause some like the way we use where clause in uh, sql same way you can use dot query over here to do the same thing okay now if you have any other table to merge again you can start over here you can say merge right and then again in that you can write so you can continue this thing to merge as many table as you want so this was the simplest way of merging tables more than two uh, more than two i just hope that it was clear to you just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out thank you very much wish